Good morning, my name is Terrell Harris, one half of the leadership team of The Open Box, where our vision is to make wholeness more accessible. Today what I wanted to discuss is going from being single to being married. So one verse that uh, stands out to me, it comes from Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9, where it says, The heart is deceitful above all else, it is perverse, who can understand it? Now, I remember hearing this passage at a singles conference a while back from uh, Bishop Noel Jones. And this is way before any of the, the reality TV show uh, Preachers of L.A. was even thought of. So, when I hear this, you know, back then, you know, years ago, in, in, in terms of actually being single, I was a little bit confused or, or baffled to understand uh, where he was going with this. And it, it was along the lines of saying that your heart cannot necessarily s select a spouse. Which is actually crazy because you think about it, um, you want your heart and your mind to be in it. But reflecting back on my past, I could actually see that this was the case that oftentimes my heart didn't necessarily choose wisely along with you know my mind. So uh, prior to me and Brooke, I remember um, dating an individual who I you know I was really into mind, heart body, everything. So I, I would say, looking back at it, that I really cared for this individual. I was probably, yeah, more than likely I was in love with her, but she wasn't the right choice. And I, I think what was happening is all of my friends were actually getting married. So I remember, uh, you know, somebody made an introduction uh, for us and, you know, we end up connecting, you know, we stayed friends for, you know, uh, maybe a month or two and then we kind of dove, dove, dove into dating. Um, and this is how the heart will work. The heart, you know, we will fall in love and, you know, our mind will tell us it's right. But despite all of the warning signs that I uh, received during this time, I, I actually, you know, I ignored them and I stayed in the relationship. She actually had some of the ne negative char characteristics of a couple of individuals who I dated before to the point where she even questioned me, like, how are you able to put up with me? And I'm like... You know, in my mind, and my heart was telling me, oh, this person was made for me because I've been prepared for this situation, but that was f the furthest thing from the truth. So, what actually happened, um, prior to me meeting Brooke, you know, my friends were getting married, so this was in 2007. So, September, October, and November, I was scheduled to be in three different weddings, and <laughs> the person I, I uh, was dating, she broke up with me like two weeks before the first wedding I was supposed to be in. So I was, I'm, I'm not even going to lie, I was salty, I was upset, um, I was mad, and to top it off, you know, you know, my, the first one I was slated to be in, my friend, he, he said, you know what, I know, I know you just broke up, it might be a tough time, let's come out, let's go to the club, let's go to a club, because he was actually going out with um, his fiance and his cousin, and his cousin's uh, fiance, I believe at the time, and we went to one of the biggest clubs in D.C. I think that at that time it was either called Dream or Love. They would switch names or whatever. And guess who I bumped into? Now, this club this club hold, held maybe like 2,000 people plus. Um, so the odds that I would bump into my ex is, is quite ridiculous. Um, and not only did I bump into her, and I bumped it, I, when I bumped into her, she was with another dude. And, you know, we had just broken up maybe a week or two ago. So I felt... <laughs> You know, I can laugh at it now, but I felt like crap. So, for me, um, I actually, you know, was salty with God because I'm like, listen, uh, at that point I was, you know, serving in the church. I, I felt that I deserved to be blessed. But what I realized in, in having this relationship, I, don't, I never really consulted God on whether or not this individual should be my friend or this individual should be uh, someone who, who should be considered for a spouse. And I think that's where we make a mistake. Oftentimes we dive into it with our feelings and our emotions and our heart. We dive into it with our mind, but we don't check in with the spirit or check in with God to see if this individual, these individuals we're dating should be considered as spouses. Um, so fast forward, you know, eventually I meet Brooke. And for me, and this is where, you know, the, the heart and the mind may not be able to make a, a, a sound selection. You know, I, I look back at back at it now, and it's it's odd that I never even, well, initially didn't consider Brooke as someone I would actually date, mainly because she was in seminary, and for me, anyone at that time in ministry, uh, they were off limits. You know, sort of like as if she was a nun or something, but she wasn't. Um, 
So if I had to make that selection myself with my mind and my heart, I wouldn't have made the selection and I would have missed out. So, you know, what happened, you know, I actually feel that God linked us together. And, you know, in my prayers prior to even meeting Brooke about finding a spouse and, and, and you know, about being married, I think God had to really step in God's self and, and kind of do the work for me. Because, like again, like I said, if somebody would have told me I would have married somebody who was in seminary and in ministry, and I would be in ministry, I would tell them they, they were crazy. So, for those of us who are still single, uh, what, what you have to do and realize is that sometimes, you know, our, our hearts, we want to, it's, it's natural to love everybody, and from my perspective, it's unnatural to hate. So, sometimes you'll be connected to people who you can love, but they may not be the ones who you're supposed to be in a relationship with. Um, so what you have to do is you have to really be serious about praying and connecting with God and asking God to remove the people out of your life who shouldn't be there as it relates to a spouse or as it relates to a boyfriend or girlfriend. And what will start happening is those people will start moving out uh, of your way. I think God will actually give you a revelation because as I was dating or meeting people before I met Brooke, um, in my prayer, because my prayers were, were to find an actual spouse, Things were being revealed to me about the individuals I was dating to where uh, our relationships or, you know, my dealings with them would end a lot quicker than it was ending before um, when I was just kind of relying on my own heart and my own mind. So the main point you have to get from this discussion of this message is when you're looking for a spouse or looking for someone you want to be in a relationship, you have to fully rely on God. Some people will actually be blessed randomly. And, you know, they'll find their spouse on their own accord. But for a lot of us, um, because we get stuck in the same patterns of, of dating the same type of people, I think we have to really take a step back and just let God work. The, the hardest thing to do is to be patient because, you know, when, when you see all of your family and all your friends uh, getting married and then your family members are pushing you to get married or asking when you're going to get married, it's very hard to be patient and very hard to wait on God, but trust me that God will actually bless you with somebody and God will also reveal to you those people that you are not supposed to be in a relationship with. Hope this message helps. Peace and blessings. And my prayer is for anybody that's being single or struggling with being single, I pray that you are content in your singleness in this, in this particular season. And I also pray that God will... Uh, bless you with a spouse that you're looking for, not not the spouse that you're looking for, but actually actually bless you with the right spouse that you're supposed to be with. And I, I pray that you will uh, be able to recognize that person when they show themselves to you. Peace and blessings. Y'all have a good day.